is here, which means a lot of us are thinking about sprucing up our homes, but that costs a lot of money. Or does it? If you know how to do it, it does not. And our very own style expert, Liliana Vasquez, is going to show us three easy and inexpensive upgrades. All right, Liliana, thank you for joining us. Of course. First, we're going to tackle the bedroom dresser. Usually yes. those are sort of drab, ugly. Right. What are we going to do? Here's the thing. They can also be really expensive if you get something that feels fancy. And right. it's one of the bigger pieces in your bedroom, so have fun with it. And you hit on my keyword inexpensive. You can do DIY projects for your home for so cheap. So this is one of my favorite projects. It's just a basic wood dresser, but what we did is we added stencils to it. It's great. So super easy way to do stencils. You can either buy them pre-cut, or if you want to design your own stencil, what you can do is get stencil paper and right. cut it out. And then it's got adhesive on the back. So is that if what I you did then? the drawer right here, okay. you can see that we stuck it to the drawer here. Oh, yeah. Then all you need, I'm actually going to have you paint. Sure. So all you need is a paint of any color. I picked white because I think it looks really current on wood and then just roll it onto the stencil right here. Okay. Paint within, and see, here's the thing, there's no messing up. This is super simple. You wanna make sure it dries fully, and then you pull the stencil off, and this is the end product. Now, gonna... while you're doing that, I'm gonna show you guys a super simple way to change out the knobs. So hardware can be expensive to replace, but if you drink a lot of champagne like I do, oh, you probably yes. have a lot of champagne corks sitting in your house. So all you do is punch a little hole in the back. You wanna take away the hardware that was in here. These are wood nails, so they have these little grooves in. You pop the screw right through the existing hole, and then you punch it in like this, and you turn this, and then you can use a screwdriver just to give you a little bit wow. of leverage. That is so clever. And then look at that. You have wow. brand new knobs for basically That's free. fantastic. Now, can Super I pull cute. this off? No, not yet. So oh. that's the thing with stencils. You absolutely want to make sure that they're 100% dry before you pull it off. Oh, okay. But this is the end result. How beautiful is that? I love it. I love six bottles. That's one evening for one me. <laughs> one evening is up. Okay, let's move I on. I need to, to come over to your house more <laughs> often. We're moving on to the headboard in the yes. bedroom. Okay. So that can also be a really expensive piece, especially if it's upholstered. So what we did is we took an inexpensive Chinese screen. You can buy these at Amazon.com, Bed Bath & Beyond. And we actually got rid of the plain panels because we're upgrading it with custom panels. Okay, how so do we So get do that? a piece of foam board like this. Mm -hmm. You want to take that screen, and basically what you're doing is tracing out the exact size of each of those panels on this foam. Okay. Then we've chosen to use different kinds of paper, but you could use wrapping paper that you have left over from Christmas. You could use old scarves or vintage scarves that you buy in a store. Huh. You want to cut them to size to match up here. Right. Okay, and then all we did was add a little double-sided oh, tape. I can do this. this See? Is and then I'm going to yeah. let you peel that off. All right. Wow. Okay. And Thanks, then you Mom. Can have <laughs> <laughs> and then you can have fun with the colors. You can do really bold colors if you're doing a kid's room. You can do a monochromatic color if you're doing one of your rooms. And just make sure it lines up. There you go. <laughs> See? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. She, she, she's a all perfectionist. All right, there. There you go. All right. And then you just line it up. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? You that put is it back great. The and here's that the is great. If you don't want to nail it into the wall, you don't have to. You can just push the bed right up against, against it, it. And it'll and stay. And it ends up on the wall. Custom and you can headboard. change it out by the seasons if you want, exactly. which I love. love okay, that. let's move on to our okay. dining room chairs. Excuse for having boring chairs in your house because you can DIY them to look like a million bucks. All you need is a little bit of paint, okay? Neon chairs right now are huge in interior really? design. I have bright, hot pink neon chairs with my dining room table. That's my living oh, room oh, right there. That looks gorgeous. Thank you. And I love the idea of adding a bold pop of color in small doses. So all we did is we took a plain chair, plain wood, kind of like a little bit of a basic mm -hmm. pattern here, and then we added neon green. Neons are also having a major moment in fashion. They're having a major moment in interior design. You want to prime the wood, and then we went over it with this neon green color, but you can pick whatever color you want. Okay. And then the coolest part about this chair is the stencil. So here it is finished right here, so you can see kind of how it goes together. It's beautiful. But stenciling is so easy, guys. Do not be afraid of it. So I'm going to have you help me do this one. Okay. So you want to pour out a little bit of paint. You can use Isn't acrylic. Isn't that paint right here? Yeah, paint right here. Okay. You can use acrylic or fabric paint, and then apply it onto the sponge. Why am I not using this? Why am you I can use, use a paintbrush okay, if okay. you want. I'm just I think, asking. Just I ask think it's less messy with the sponge. And then you kind of, exactly. Here, I'm gonna help you do a little bit more of it. And it only takes a couple of minutes, and because the stencil is stuck on there, you don't have to worry about messing up the lines. I like easy DIY. I don't like to overcomplicate I don't it. either. Okay? I don't either. So then you just stencil it all in, and you can do as many coats as you want. You can do any shape stencil that you want. And then, when you're done, It voila. looks like that. It's gorgeous. How cool is that? Okay. Thank you. I'm, like I'm a, loving it. I love like it. Speed stenciler. But why? Why didn't you finish the chair? Oh, I just wanted to show you. I know. You. I'm kidding you. <laughs> Our thanks to.